Good morning, KubeCon. Uh, it is crazy to see so many faces here. Um, as Dan said, uh, I've been to a few of these now, and um, it is really inspiring to see so many people here today. So um, it is pretty clear what has already happened, so I won't uh, belabor the point. Um, Rocket is joining CNCF. And what I wanted to do was give a little context on where Rocket has been and where it's going. So Rocket started in 2014. Uh, and then hit a 1.0 in 2016 as it got a number of different production use cases um, under its belt. The reason we built Rocket uh, was that we wanted a pod native, secure, and composable container engine. And then also, we wanted to drive this conversation around uh, containers and standards, which has been a conversation that's been going on for the last couple of years inside the ecosystem. And uh, with the OCI, we now have very close to 1.0 uh, OCI runtime and image specs, which uh, Rocket is implementing. And I think this joint announcement with Container D is um, very apt to discuss this topic as well, because what it means is that users can have confidence that whatever application and however they package it up will run under the runtime that they choose to use. And uh, they have confidence that it'll work um, as it says on the label. So they can kind of have, have the technical choices that they want. So um, one thing I want to just point out, because it's often a point of confusion, is that Rocket is not a new image format, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's able to execute OCI and Docker images, um, fully supported, and execute those just no problem. Um, the thing that makes Rocket a little unique is that uh, its process model, it executes directly as a child process of whatever it called it, which is um, how most classic Linux processes work. Um, I'll not dive into details of how the whole thing works. Um, but what this means in practice is that Rocket is really simple to integrate into existing systems. So we've seen um, things like Nomad and Mesos, which already know how to execute processes, be able to adopt and use containers and container images inside of those systems, as well as people putting it in um, systemd service files. If all they need is one or two little containers on their host. You can also put it into shell scripts and, and use it like you would any other command. Now, I'm happy to say that Rocket, over the last couple of years, has gotten a lot of contributions. Um, we have big, notable contributions from organizations like Kinvoke and Intel, um, 180 contributors overall. We obviously have a lot of GitHub stars, the primary metric of open source software today, um, for better or for worse. And um, we, we do uh, bi-monthly or twice, twice monthly releases. So the reason that we're excited to put Rocket into the CNCF is that it's a neutral and respected home for open source projects. And we hope that it will expand our contributor base. And then, as has been mentioned a few times already this morning, uh, containers are really the foundation of cloud native. Um, they are the unit of compute that allows, it, allows applications to be ran on virtual machines and hybrid cloud on bare metal. And so having these technologies in the cloud native computing foundation makes a lot of sense. Um, Rocket also uses some of the CNCF technologies, like gRPC, uh, as its RPC system. Um, it also, today, there's been some talk about how um, we've helped, through the Rocket project, drive a few different initiatives inside of Kubernetes, one of which is that uh, with Minikube and uh, Kubernetes today, you're able to run almost a fully working Kubernetes system using Rocket as the execution engine underneath. Um, we have 84 out of 89 of those tests, the conformance tests passing today. And we would love all of your help to get 100%. Um, the reason that there's five left is some things are tricky. Um, so uh, <laughs> Rocket can run on top of any Linux distro. So uh, if you're using Linux, can I get a show of hands of people who use Linux in the room? If you're using Linux, you're able to get Rocket running on your system. We build RPMs and DEBs on every release. And then there's native packages for pretty much everything, uh, including distros that I hadn't heard about until I read the docs on the native packages, like Void Linux. Um, so what's next? We hope to foster further interoperability of containers with uh, Kubernetes and our work in the OCI. And we are really excited to have new people join the project. So check out Rocket.io, which will take you to the GitHub page. 
And then tomorrow we'll have a salon where a bunch of folks from the Rocket community will be around to answer your questions and help you get started. Uh, that'll happen at 3.40 p.m. Um, in A08. So continue the conversation, and please join us. Thanks.